What's going on YouTube? This is Toro. I just want to show you how you can make a drop down list in Microsoft Excel that will automatically sort in alphabetical order and will automatically update too as you add in or take out items. So here we have a drop down list with 100 random items. As you can see, it's sorted alphabetically and it will update if we add or take out items. So to show you how to do this, here we have our example data of a list of 100 random items in Excel. And we want to, to do this, we first want to make a dynamic range. So a range that will change based on what we add in or take out. And then we want to sort the range and ultimately then put that in a drop down list. So first to make the dynamic range, we are going to use the offset function. So to do this, we're going to do equals offset open parentheses. Now the first argument is the reference, which is just kind of like, what's the anchor that we want to set the offset on? We want, so we want to set the anchor on the first item of the list, comma rows. How many rows do you want to offset? Well, we don't want to move any rows to the right or left, so we're, we don't want to move any rows up or down, so we're going to press zero. Column. How many columns do you want to offset by? Well, we don't want to move right or left any columns, so we want to type in a zero there. Comma height. How big do you want this range to be? We want to capture in all the items in the list, right? And any potential additional items. So to do this, we're going to have this number be reflective of the count a function. So open parentheses. And you're going to then hide this list and more than the list. So that way, if we add stuff to the list, it will, the count a will um, grab it too. And the count a function just basically gives a returns a count of the items and the cells that aren't blank. So close parentheses. Come with how wide do we do want this to be. Well, we want this to be one wide. So in and close. Now here you can see we have a list of these items. And if we add items to the list, like I don't know, a this type letter A, it will automatically be added to the list. Um, but now we want to be able to sort this. So to do this, we're going to use the sort function. One thing about the sort function is relatively new to Excel. It came out a few years ago. So if we're using Excel 2016, this might not work, but this will do this sort function. So sort function just lets you basically sort your data. Um, it kind of implies, so what array do you want to sort? Will we want to sort the array that I just made? Comma, sort index. So what do you want to sort on? Will we want to sort by the first item in the array? So just one and sort index. Um, you can type it a one for, ascend for ascending, which is what it defaults to, or you can have a negative one if you want it to be descending. I want it to be ascending, so I'm just going to keep it. Um, you can either type in one or leave it like this. Close parentheses. Now, as you can see, it is automatically sorted. And if we type in like something into the list, so you go down here and we type in, I don't know, just type in letter A, the letter A gets automatically added to the list. It's at the top. So now, this is awesome, we have the same list. But now I want to put this into a list. In Diamond Grange, I want to put this into a list. So to put this into a list, we can go to the data tab. Then under data validation, right here, under data tools grouping, data validation, right here, we can add items to the list. So we click on this, and then we can then click on data validation. And then under the settings, we want to allow, what do we want to allow? We want to allow a list. And what they want list to be. We want the list to be the top of the dynamic range and we're going to put in this hashtag symbol right here. And what this hashtag symbol will do in this situation is it will grab all the cells um, of uh, all the cells of in the range for what is built. So what do you mean by spills that the range is kind of dynamically flows through as you can see. Um, so click OK. And now we have the drop down list. Um, now we have the drop down list. So yeah, I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks so much for watching. You have a great day.